This is an arts and craft video on making small plywood hummingbirds. Each bird has a lot of detailed cuts involved with it, but using the method I show you in this video, you can make six birds in the same amount of time it would take a normal person to make one bird. The secret? Stack six or more pieces of plywood on top of each other, then brad nail them together. Make sure you clearly mark where the brad nails are. You don't want to be hitting them with your saw, and place the nails near the outside of the boards where you know you won't be cutting. Print your pattern out on a piece of paper, place it on top of a piece of carbon paper, then use a pen or pencil to transfer it to your wood. This is what my hummingbird pattern looked like. Okay, to cut this out, we're going to be using a bandsaw. A bandsaw blade is flexible. It wraps around the drive wheel in the lower left, then around the two guide wheels on the right. But with this very long blade, the only part that does any cutting is located right here. The blade is extremely thin, which is what allows us to do the detail work. So, before we start cutting, we want to adjust the cutting guide so it's just barely above our work object. Hey, I just noticed my shirt is out of date. They've discovered several new elements since I bought it. Anyway, back to what we are talking about. Since this particular saw blade I have installed is so wide, it does not go around corners very well. So I'll do most of my cutting by cutting out small slivers of wood. But, since this saw blade removes so much wood so fast, that's not a problem. The reason why I didn't finish this cut on top is that while you're cutting you need to arrange it so that brad nails stay in place as long as possible. Remember the nails are what's holding the plywood together so you're cutting them all out at the same time. So before you start put a little thought into where you're going to cut. You can see here this tight area got a little tricky. That's easily fixed by pulling out a bigger sliver of wood. Again, notice all the brad nails are still in place. To go around the sharp bend of the bird's head, make a lot of small cuts so the pieces of wood pop out as you're trying to go around the corner. That keeps your blade from binding. Here we go, the final cut. One, two, three, four, five, six birds in the amount of time it took me to cut out one. You want to cover each bird with a good coating of primer. Instead of using a spray primer, I like to use a brush. That way I can get into every single little nook and cranny. But once you have a good coating of primer on them, spray paint works just fine. But you want to be careful. Because you can make so many birds so quickly, this is a hobby that can quickly get out of control. Well, thanks for watching.